Hey everyone, thanks so much for checking out that Storm 5 weather forecast. We are looking at exact track overnight. I'm not worried about much other than clouds pushing in. Could have some light sprinkles though going through the day on Thursday. This ahead of a cold front rain predominantly towards the plateau. And as the cold air sinks in behind it, we could see from the plateau into parts of East Tennessee. They start to change over a bit to uh, some snow and a rain snow mix. What about totals? The American model I think is overcooked here. We are talking uh, not even close to what this is trying to project. If we were to see anything, I think it's mainly like Cookville, Crossville and then going towards East Tennessee. But even that is minimal at best as far as chances go. I think that the European model has a good handle on it. Any accumulating snow staying towards West Tennessee, going out towards uh, parts of the Appalachians as well and into Western North Carolina. So not looking for this to be an event for us that we need to be concerned with. 40s and 30s as we go through the overnight time frame. Tomorrow we're looking at those 50s and upper for, uh, 40s just because of the clouds moving in. We're not going to climb any warmer. We'll gradually see that wind flow shifting as well. Hard to believe this, but Thursday is our first day of February. Can you believe we're one month down of 2018? Rain chances are high. Groundhog Day is on Friday. 35 will be that high temperature come Friday. Then we're looking at 47 degrees on Saturday with another front approaching. Rain chances pretty good on Sunday. We got to watch this one close uh, because the cold air and the moisture could work out to give us a little bit of that wintry precip, but still pretty early. We'll continue to track it for you closely. 36 Monday and then back to the 40s Tuesday and Wednesday. Thanks so much for checking out your forecast. Leland has the latest for you starting at 4 a.m. on News Channel 5 this morning.